Good morning, people. We're going to talk about my family registry. Yo, people say, you are fake. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know nothing. So, I don't care what people say. I'm moving on. Life goes on. And people got to understand this. You can hate all you want to. All I care about, what's up, bro? All I care is about registering the right breed the right way. No bullshit, no bum ass way, no lying to people, no mislabeling dogs. No, I can't stand that mislabeling dogs. Right? I can't stand mislabeling dogs. Now, if you are a reputable breeder, right? You're a reputable breeder, right? And you selling pet quality dogs and um, you're a backyard breeder and stuff like that. This is why dogs end up in the shelter. Because you got backyard breeders just selling dogs without a contract, without um, rules. Without rules, right? Um, you know, life is about rules. It's, it's like the same thing if you hurt somebody, where you going? To jail, right? Right? If you hurt somebody, you're going to jail. So dogs should have rules, right? There's standards, there's um, breed standards, and there's rules, right? You got these other registries that don't care about the... Um, family tree, don't care about the literature, don't care about nothing, right, you got one, what's up, bro, how you doing, how everybody doing, I appreciate y'all watching, and yo, we register dogs, man, we register dogs the right way, like, if you a reputable breeder, right, you will have three contracts, right, you will have three contracts, three of them. You will have a non-breeding contract, and that non-breeding will be spaded and neutered, right? Then you will have a, um, a contract with co-ownership, right? You will have a contract with co-ownership. This is for reputable breeders, because you, you got backyard breeders, don't get me wrong, everybody was a backyard breeder. I'm talking about reputable breeders that has license and it's incorporated with the tech secretary of state in a state, right? So you, you got breeding quality also, right? You got coat ownership and you got, you got non-breeding. And this is how you breed dogs, right? You got non-breeding dogs. They shouldn't be bred. They shouldn't be, they shouldn't be even, you know, they should be spaded and neutered. Then you got dogs that should be bred and fits the standard of that breed. Then you got dogs that you want to co-own because they look good and they, you want them in your breeding program, Right? And people got to understand this. This is how you breed dogs. And people don't get this. you just selling a dog just to get $400, $500. To me, that, is, that ain't nothing. Dogs cost so much money to take care, the upkeep of them, the um, housing, the everything, right? People keep saying, yo, you shouldn't be getting money off of dogs. That's the dumbest thing in the world, man. Dog is a product. It is a product. It's a living product. It should be cost. Real facts. You got working dogs. You got non-sporting dogs. You got um, all types of dogs. You know? You got people that like working dogs. You got people that doesn't like... Um, Working dogs. 
You got people that doesn't like working dogs. You like people that just wants the pet that goes in the house and roam around and shit everywhere. You got people like that. And you know, that's that's they on, on them. That's their property. So they they could have them dogs do what the hell they want in they in their house. In my house, dogs can't do whatever they want. And that's real facts. We register dogs the right way, and that's real facts. We are incorporated we with the Secretary of State. We don't lie here. We don't mislead people. We don't bullshit people here. Right? People bullshit people. We don't bullshit people. We don't full of shit. We don't lie to people. We don't lie to people. And I think every fucking papers should have the dog's picture. The um, DNA, the tack, the the um the hip and all of that, right? So you think about that, right? Every pedigree, this will stop the the selling of papers. This will stop the selling of papers. This will stop everything. Pictures on the pedigree of the dog. So you can't sell that pedigree to nobody. See, UKC doesn't do this. UKC don't care about nothing. You can sell UKC papers if the dog is dead. Can't sell the OREBA. You can sell ADBA papers because they're still around there that doesn't have the picture of the dog on on this paper, on a certificate. This is a certificate, birth certificate. This shows the identity of the dog. Like you got a birth certificate, the dog should have a birth certificate. The dog should have a birth certificate. All my dogs have birth certificates. That means it's a legit dog. You know what I'm saying? And people that doesn't have legit dogs, they shouldn't be breeding. Real facts. And that's real facts. That's my opinion. You could take it or leave it. You could do whatever you want. You could talk about me more. Doesn't matter because I'm moving on with my program, what I'm going to do into this dog game. Right? And people got to understand this. Before you get, you know, before you get anything, right? You got to, you got to get this business established. You got to get a federal tax ID number. You got to get a lawyer to, um, I don't know why, bro. They don't know what they talking about. Just like the UKC, they they do not know what they're talking about, man. Bro, this women runs that registry. Bro, it's right there in the description. They'll tell you how to do it. And yo, this is how we do it, man. Yo, this will tell this is this this is to help you to make you understand, right? To make you understand, right? Right? You can go nowhere. You can't go nowhere, right? I can't. I can't take these and sell these papers, right? For a lot of money, but you can sell UKC. You can sell ADBA papers, and the dog is dead. You see this right here? You see this? You see this right here? This is a certificate that's, that your dog should have. It should have a birth certificate. It should have this. And that's real facts. It should have this. We register dogs. All dogs should have pedigree and family tree. Like homeboy Jeep, right? Let's pull up Jeep. Let's pull up Jeep. Grand 
Grand Champion Jeep, right? Let's pull up Grand Champion Jeep. Right? Let's pull it up. Let's pull up Grand Champion G, right? Greatest dog there was, man. Producing great dogs. This is a pedigree, bro. This is a pedigree. This is a family tree. This is a family tree, bro. Let me show you what a family tree is. This is a family tree. This is a pedigree right here. It tells you the father, right? It tells you the mother. It tells you the father's father and mother. It tells you the mother's father and mother. And it goes on and it goes on and it goes on. Pedigree, family tree, a family tree, man. People got to have this. I don't understand why people say, yo, you should, it doesn't matter if you, you don't have no pedigree. It does matter. That means it's an excuse to say your dog is great. How your dog is great and it doesn't have a literature. You don't know the family tree. You don't know the um, background of your dogs. I got a family tree. Why your dog shouldn't have a family tree? Why your dog shouldn't have a family tree? I I don't, that's that's the weirdest thing. We understand the the pedigree and the family tree don't make the dogs. But it's still, it's a peace of mind to think your dog has a certificate like you do. Like you got a birth certificate. Like, you got a social security um, number, knows you important. Do you know your social security number is incorporated? Your name is incorporated? Do you know that? Y'all didn't know that, though. Do you know your name is incorporated? But go read about that. But let let me tell you something. All dogs should have a, a literature where they come from. A pedigree, a standard, why they was bred, why they was made. You got some people don't care about the standard. I don't care about the standard. I'm going to call it like it is. I'm going to call it what it, what I want to call it. That means you're a kid. You don't care about the standard. That means don't, That means you're a moron. Use a, um, a, a, a retarded person if you don't care about the standard. Of the breed. Like. I see. These people crossing dogs. And then want to put. Established breed names. On the dog. I don't understand how you crossing dogs. And want to put established breed names on the dog. You got these people with the county coastals. They crossing boxes. In, into the dogs. That's what America does. So to me, they got their own type of bulldog now. It's not a, even a county corso no more. You got people crossing boxes to Rockwellers and calling it Rockwellers. It's their own way of bulldog. The band dog has a standard, bro. It has a standard. And I'm going to show you the standard right here. The man doggy has a standard also. Each dog has a standard. Real facts. Each dog has a set standard, bro. Each breed should have a set standard. And that's real facts. 
but you got people who don't understand this. There's a set standard for each breed, and that's real facts. And it should be like that. It should be like that. It should be like that. Each breed has a set standard. Each breed has a set standard. Each breed has a set standard. Standard. That means it has the history. It has the um, the color, the description. It has all of that. The size. It has all of that. It has the ingredients, the sauce. It has all of that. How to make a band dog. It has the ingredients. It has the color. It has the, 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 the neck, the coat, the eyes, the faults. That's a standard. That is a standard. That's a legit standard. It has all of the ingredients. What what's made that dog? Stuff like that. Then you got a line breed and inbreed. All breeds has a standard, and that's real facts. Some people don't understand that, but it, it has a standard. Van dog and van doggy, two different breeds. Van dog is game bred pit bull to any type of master. That's the ingredients. Then you line breeding, inbreed, and make that breed establish. Van Doggy is American Bulldog cross and staff cross, whatever you want to mix with master. What? You, you have to create the your standard, and that's real facts. You got to create your own standard when you make it a, a breed. When you make an established breed, you got to create your own standard. You got to, what's the eyes? What's the color? What's the body type? What's the description? Why do you made it? Why do you, um? what's the reason? What's the description? Why did you make this breed? And each breed has a standard. And each breed should have a birth certificate. And you take the grandfather, the grandma, great-grandma, great-grandfather, and that's how you do that. People got to understand this, man. Each breed has a set standard. That's real facts. People don't, they don't follow the standard. Keep, people say, I don't care about the standard. Yes, I do. But yo, each, people don't get this though, man. A standard has a set standard. Every breed has a breed, bro. And that's real facts. Every breed has a breed, man. And it should have a breed. But, yo, y'all have a blessed day, man. Y'all call me anytime. Come and register your dogs with a real registry. One that don't bullshit, that knows different breeds, that um, that is not a person like, like, like a vet and like law enforcement people that call anything with big heads is a pit bull and we as breeders as dog lovers need to stop this because the bsl and these people is killing the pit bull law it's going to be a stink soon because nobody knows the difference between a bruce lee dog and um Arnold Schwarzenegger dog. Because that's what American Bully is. A Arnold Schwarzenegger. A bodybuilder. Pitbull is a Bruce Lee body dog. And the American Bully is totally different breed. 
The American staff is totally different breed. The um, real facts is is probably is cross, bro, and that's real fact. Real pits do stay on chains and in kennels, kennel in the chain. Real facts, because I see I see a lot of. That's why my dogs is in kennels and in on a chain. They should be having two real pit bulls. Not these fur mommy pit bulls. Not these, they not even fucking pit bulls. But you got these fur people, fur daddies. There's a lot of fur daddies and fur mommies that want their dogs laying in the bed with them and and shitting everywhere and, and all of that shit. To me, them are not real pit bulls, man. Real facts. You can claim they are because you got pedigree and family tree. You got curves, man. Dogs should be in their own space just like you should be in your own space also. And that's real facts. They got pet bulls. And, and that's, I've been saying that for years, bro. That's my singing right there. You got pet bulls and you got real dogs, man. Real facts. But y'all have a blessed day, man. Everything is not everything. R-E-B-A, we still here, man. And we ain't going nowhere, man. I am the master of all bulldogs. Bullion. And yo, please ascribe to this channel right here, man. Ascribe to this channel right here, man. See the, see the name of it? Ascribe to this channel right here, man. I appreciate y'all watching. God bless, man.